Alright, what is going on guys? So, if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Chris. So, I got these door hinges off uh, Facebook Marketplace. They're fully bolt-on. Um, I basically just taped up the door to the car because I'm about to remove the hinges, so it's basically going to just be floating. Alright, stop. Go. Slowly come down. Come on, right there. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. So, we got one side done. Halfway. Yeah, halfway done. So we're just gonna. Uh, Close these. So, these are not like normal Lambos. In your video, so you gotta, go, you gotta keep it out. Go down. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, I can't believe oh. You know you don't fucked up, right? No! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, it was just. Oh, it's just. So just this, this thing came off. Uh, I didn't have it, I barely tightened it, so it was just. So actually, this is fine. We just need this off the other, off the other. Cause this should never come up unless you're taking it out. Because the carbon, I guess, isn't really doing anything because it's just keeping it there when you're moving. So we just need this. So it's actually been a couple weeks since the footage you guys just saw, and basically. We got the door on and everything, and I just had an issue closing my door. There's a there's a part that's supposed to go right here, um, it's the upper latch, and it it helps like guide the door when you're closing it. So yeah, forgot to install that on both the doors, but yeah, ordered that to help close the door because. So it closed. It closed good that time, but if you don't have it in the right spot, it'll just do that. And yeah, that will happen. It'll just hit the lock. So it's pretty annoying. Definitely need that upper striker. Yeah, definitely not playing out. I'll show you guys what it looks like opening. Yeah, fender's not bolted down, but looks sick. So need to do the passenger side. But yeah, as you can tell, Delphi still got some work to do. But I'm super hyped on them. I've always wanted some Lambo doors. Okay, so it's actually not the end of the video yet. Just wanted to throw in a couple more clips just to have this video be a little bit more informal just in case if you guys decide to get some Lambo door hinges for your car. Um, for one thing, just wanted to let you guys know um, they are bolt-on for the most part. I actually had to delete the AVI system. So it's basically just for emissions. So you're able to delete that and then the hinge should go right on. Also, another thing you have to uh, consider is you're gonna have to be cutting out inside of your fender just because the hinge is gonna be hitting it as you're opening it. But yeah, also it's replacing struts when they get old. Um, I'm not sure how old these struts are, but uh, I'm probably gonna be getting a new, a new set after a year or so, maybe a couple years. So at the beginning of the video, you probably heard me say, um, the door is a little too heavy you kind of have to have a little force to push it up and I guess that's pretty much normal these aren't gonna be like the actual Lambo door hinges where you're able to just push a button and they kind of just automatically go up uh, yeah other than that 
Um, pros is if you guys park next to uh, a curb and your car's too low, then you won't hear your door. That's pretty much the only pros to having Lambo doors and they throw a huge smile on my face. But yeah, that's gonna be the pros and cons for Lambo doors. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.